it's amazing just to see the stars and to, to, to learn about a little bit more about astronomy. I saw Venus over there and I saw Jupiter up there. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> you see the different bands of color on Jupiter? Yeah, you should be surprised It's not often people get to use a nice telescope to look at, say, Saturn or Jupiter. Even the moon. Just looking at the moon through a telescope is an amazing thing. People are in awe of the moon and Saturn and Jupiter because you're making it so much bigger and brighter for them to look at. I didn't think that you would actually be able to see Jupiter the way that you see it in almost like a textbook in such detail with the moons. It was really cool. It's a nice way to spend an evening and it's free, so it's kind of a rarity in Boston. We're pretty good for Boston. You know, we've got a nice setup. We have some good telescopes and some knowledgeable people, and they get a chance to look at something that they've never seen before. Yeah, you can see a long way. You can see down to the Charles, and you can see a lot of the nice skyline of downtown Boston. Explain what you're looking at, you can ask questions about what you're looking at. We try to give people just more information than they may have never had a chance to get before about those objects. They may have never heard of a globular cluster or a planetary nebula, and we hopefully instill a sense of wonder uh, about astronomy. Well, if it's a great weather, you know, it's, it's like on the rooftop, you have a great view of Boston. It's still a hidden gem in the fact that not everybody knows about it, even the Bostonians. Well, there are a lot of people that aren't tourists in their own town. They'll be tourists when they go somewhere else, but here, they just go home from work. So there are a lot of people that still aren't aware because they're not looking up these interesting things to do in the evening for free.